Hey there guys, welcome to the Friday Night Heroics channel. Uh, my name is Jake, and welcome back to our channel. I know it's been quite a while since we posted a video. That's okay. Um, here, start posting a couple other videos that I wanted to do um, real quick. Um, so basically, I'm just starting a new character. I know that I had my Pandaren Hunter. I think that was the last thing that I recorded on this channel. That was a while ago. And, you know, that, that was fun and everything. Just not really digging the pandas gonna be honest with you kind of still really really like those classic world of warcraft races and places that you can go and all that kind of stuff and i think that for a series i really kind of want to get more with a classic kind of feel and you know uh, and, a, and a really cool launch off point and you know uh Torin, uh their starting area is one of my favorite starting zones and you know why not start there um so I'm gonna play a class that I've really never played. I've played it to like 35, I think, something like that, um, which is Paladin. Um, always never really had an interest in Paladin, but might as well do it. And I thought that that'd be kind of a cool way to mix things up, kind of go with a newer version of a classic race and um, just go from there. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do a couple things. We're gonna start off the series and uh, first thing I want to do is I want to kind of show you how I usually set up my screen for new characters. Um, I already kind of moved a couple things around. You see I've got uh, recount over here in the corner. Um, usually I just have it set up to its normal settings. I usually put on current fight for whatever reason. Um, I also have my you know, uh, chat box. I usually unlock it. It's like the first thing I do is I unlock it and then I shrink it down a little bit. I move it up. I just, I, it's like this at the beginning and no one likes that. Um, I've got a couple add ons here. I probably won't name them all because I won't remember them all, but uh, an obvious one is uh, X Pearl uh, unit frames. Um, like one of the first things I do also is I, well, this is what I've been doing over the last couple months, anyways. I've been pulling my portrait down here. I don't know, I just kind of, I saw it in a couple videos and I really kind of think it's interesting, a uh, really cool way to have your, your unit frame set up. You got your target over here and then your unit frame over here. Kind of keeps it closer to the action. Um, plenty of room for, you know, uh, dots and buffs and stuff like that. Um, your player buffs, I usually just keep up here on the top right screen. Um, I don't know. I maybe I'll change that again someday. Probably will. I change that kind of stuff all the time. I like to keep it refreshed. Just like this game is always updating, I like to change with it a little bit. Um, this might be actually a little high for my liking. Let's move it down just a little bit. Don't want it to be in the middle of the action. Just want it to be close. All right. Are those even? Come on. Come on, get even. I don't know. I'm really terrible at setting up like pictures and stuff in my apartment. I can never tell if it's even. Ah, that looks okay. All right, we'll leave it for now. Um, what else do I do? Oh, yeah, real quick. I always go to interface, action bars, unlock all of these. Don't know why they're not unlocked in the first place. Doesn't make sense to me. I always put my hearth over here. Kind of ritual. Um, my cousin taught me. It's the first thing I always do. I don't know. Um, my cousin Scott, if you remember couple videos we had um that's about it i think that's kind of how i usually get started so why don't we just go from there now torrin never really uh, i used to play a torrin a while ago so they've got that war stomp for their racial and then paladin so no idea how this class works at all anymore i, I f feel like it's changed over the years and like anything else it's totally different than what it used to be so this is completely new to me I have no idea how to play this so you can make fun of me don't care um we're gonna figure it out as we go we got 90 levels to figure it out right so what do we got here we got crusader strike an instant strike that causes 125 percent weapon damage plus 24 so that's my main move so that's cool all right let's see what chief hawkwind wants from us follow the path east out of the camp and find Grawl Hawkwind. Okay, let's look at east. Alright, so we're on our way. I always, I always feel like I'm forgetting things when I first set up my screen here. 
Hmm. All right. So there should be Mr. Hawkwind over here somewhere. There he is. Do, do, do. How may I aid? Hello. Welcome to your first true test as a Tauren. Go in peace. Kill six Bristleback invaders. We can do that for you, buddy. We can surely do that. Feels kind of boring. Not gonna lie. All right, need four more. Ugh, you can probably hear my fingers. <laughs> my fingers are slamming my keyboard because all of my other classes go so much faster. I know I'm level one, but come on. There's nothing else. And I feel like, um, Scott and I were talking about this the other night, we were playing, we've got a little, um, hunter-warlock duo thing going on right now, and we were talking about this, uh, we feel like the game is giving you a lot more now, at the beginning, like, you get more moves right away, and we really like that, so it's like, some, sometimes you feel like the game is just so much easier than, like, what it used to be. And I, I think the game just kind of goes in stages, but at the same time, we've got now more moves, you know, towards the beginning of your journey, and I think that's really cool and a really good way to get people thinking about their rotations and how they want to play in their own style, instead of that cookie cutter style that everyone always plays. That gives them the opportunity to build their own. We'll definitely take the weapon. Because we look at armor here. Open four quill bore cages. So let's switch that out. A shinier mallet. And we gotta go free some quill bores. Congratulations on level two. Loche. Oh, if you want to know what Loche is, um. I'm from Wisconsin, and the Brewers just picked up Kyle Loesch uh, for th the next three years, and I figured it's kind of a cool way to welcome him to the Brewers family, right? To the organization. Name a uh, World of Warcraft character after you, Mr. Kyle Loesch. And if you suck for my team then I will just have a character that I'll make fun of. And I'm sorry, Loesch. That's just the way it's gonna be. Do, do, do. Yeah, don't worry about me. Just coming up behind you. Just gonna free all these guys. You guys are all distracted, because you're dumb. These little level one invaders. Why are they invading anything when they're only level one? They're silly. I'm gonna kill you just because I don't like you. Yeah, feel bad. You should. Hi! That was lame. Plain Strider! You're cool, man. I'll probably have to kill you someday. You're someone in your family because I always need your beak for some reason always need like 15 of them and then you guys never drop them every single time which makes no sense but um gloves or feet gloves or gloves or feet oh that one's male might as well go to thunder Adana to the southwest so pushy bless you around here does this even show up what? Can I know where it is? Whatever. I'll figure that out. I thought I could wear mail right away. 
Is that a... <laughs> That's embarrassing. Well, you know, we're actually out of time, guys, so when we come back, we will be... Uh... Oh, was I in combat? Is that why? Yep. Weird. Didn't even... Oh, yeah, because I had to do that stupid war stuff. Um, when we come back, we'll be on our way to Adana over here and continue our journeys. See you later.